Welcome you back to this lecture series. We left off when we have started using the if statement. Today we are going to see the nested if, but to revise what we saw last time, we talked of the if statement. So if you want to give a discount to the total sale here, I want to give a discount of 10% to whoever has 10 and above, 100 and above. So I'll give a 10% discount. So here we say equals, equals if this total sale Sorry. It say equals that is a name error. If you see such errors, it means you have made a mistake. So if open bracket total cell, which is this, if total cell is greater than a hundred, so if that is true, our I2, which is a total cell will be given a discount of 10%. And if it's not true, we are giving that person a 0% discount. Otherwise, no discount. So that one gets a 0. When you scroll down, as you can see, we have those who have discount and those who have no discount. Now we are going to use a nested if. And this is what we are going to consider for a nested if. So we are going to use a number of nested if is used in uh, if one condition is not fulfilled, check another condition. If another condition is not fulfilled, check another condition. See, if you buy for me a car, I love you. But if you can't afford a car, you buy for me land. If you buy land, I will love you. But if you can't afford the land, at least you buy for me a watch. If you cannot buy a watch, at least you buy for me an anki. But if you can't manage all of those, then no love. So this is what we are going to look at, and this is nested if. So we are saying if total sale is greater than 500, a discount of 10 is given. If it's greater than or equal to 350, a discount of 8 is given. If it's greater than 200, now here is equal this greater than or equal to. So if, so this is what we are going to combine to a nested if, and this, let me reduce the screen here so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So we begin by saying equals, then if we open bracket, so we are checking our total sale. That is the logical test. So if total sale is greater than 500, comma. So if that is true, we are going to have our total sale multiplied by a discount, which is 10%. So we are giving that person 10% discount. Now, instead of taking the value if is, is false, we are just going to start another if statement. And we say if, again we open bracket, again we are still testing our i2, which is total cell. This time we are saying if it is greater than or equal to 350. So if it is greater than or equal to 350. So if that is true, so we are giving our total sale a discount of 8%. So if that condition still is not true, we are testing another if statement. And we are saying if, again, our I2, which is the total sale, this time if it is greater than 200, so if it is greater than 200, you can see this from the formula bar up here. So if it is greater than 200, comma, 
So we are going to give our total sale a discount of 6%. So we are giving a discount of 6%. And if that's not true, again we continue having. If it's not true, then we have another discount of greater than a hundred. So again we are saying if our I2, which is total sale, is greater than a hundred, we are going to give a discount. That is our I2. We are give a discount of five percent. Now the if statements are ending here. So we are saying otherwise no discount. So otherwise we are closing the if statement with the otherwise no discount by giving zero percent discount. Now when you see here. We have made how many ifs? One, two, three, four, five. So you count how many ifs you have done and then you close according to those ifs. So we are going to close the first, last if statement. We close it. Sorry. We close the last one. Then we close another one. The second if statement. This one is now also closed. Then we close. The third if statement, which is that one, then we close the fourth if statement. As you can see, these brackets are in colors. They're in colors. So each if close you open, it is given a color. So the first you close is the last one, which has a green color. Then you close the second one, which has a purple color. You close the third, which has a red color. And lastly, you close the one which started the black color. When you see a black color, then just look, the, the closing brackets are finished because usually the first if bracket is black. Then you press enter. Then you can drag down. So we can analyze our work now. As you can see, let me expand so that we can analyze it better. Okay. As you can see, the first one here is less than 100. So it's given no discount. When you see this one, it is greater than 200. So the discount here, which was said for greater than 200, is given to that one. That is 86% is given because it's greater than 200. OK. So, and so on and so forth. So we have various discounts, as you can see. Let me expand that. 500, we said greater than 500 is given a 10% discount. And you can see we have a 10% discount there. Now this one is 349, but we, we are talking of greater than 350. So that means this one's going to be given a discount of 6% because it's less than 350, as you can see. This is greater than 500, so it's given a 10% discount. When you go down, Check, we have another one which is greater than 500, also has a 10% discount. These ones, they are less than 100, so they are not given any discount there, because they are less than 100. They don't deserve any discount, and so forth, and so on. Okay. We shall meet in the next video and where we are going to start doing our data analysis in Excel using some of these functions we have seen. See you in the next video.